Welcome to Lost in Revision. All of our content is public domain, literature, fairy tales, and folklore. We look at stories through an irreverent and lighthearted lens in our discussion episodes, and our daily stories are a fun way to listen to the original versions in a short format that can fit into most people's schedules. If you prefer to listen to full chapters, you can subscribe to our Patreon page. We just added a $1 option that provides early access and more. You can check the show notes for our Linktree page, where there are links to all of our public pages, ways to contact us, and all of our content. Our goal is to at least break even to cover our expenses, so any support that you can offer to help us reach that goal helps keep this podcast going and you entertained. All of our music is by Nathan Hubble and is used with his permission. Thanks, and enjoy the show. The Shooting Match at Nottingham Town Part 1 then the sheriff was very wroth because of this failure to take Jolly Robin, for it came to his ears, as ill news always does, that the people laughed at him and made a jest of his thinking to serve a warrant upon such a one as the bold outlaw. And a man hates nothing so much as being made a jest of. So he said, Our gracious lord and sovereign king himself shall know of this and how his laws are perverted and despised by this band of rebel outlaws. As for yon traitor Tinker, him will I hang if I catch him, upon the very highest gallows tree in all Nottinghamshire. Then he bade all his servants and retainers to make ready to go to London town, to see and speak with the king. At this there was bustling at the sheriff's castle, and men ran hither and thither upon this business and upon that, while the forge fires of Nottingham glowed red far into the night like twinkling stars, for all the smiths of the town were busy making or mending armor for the sheriff's troop of escort. For two days this labor lasted, then, on the third, all was ready for the journey. So forth they started in the bright sunlight from Nottingham Town to Fossey Way and thence to Watling Street, and so they journeyed for two days until they saw at last the spires and towers of great London Town, and many folks stopped as they journeyed along and gazed at the show they made riding along the highways with their flashing armor and gay plumes and trappings. In London, King Henry and his fair Queen Eleanor held their court, gay with ladies in silks and satins and velvets and cloth of gold, and also brave knights and gallant courtiers. Thither came the sheriff and was shown into the king's presence. A boon, a boon, quoth he as he knelt upon the ground. Now what wouldst thou have? said the king. Let us hear what may be thy desires. O oh, my good lord and sovereign, spake the sheriff, in Sherwood Forest, in our own good shire of Nottingham, liveth a bold outlaw whose name is Robin Hood. In good sooth, said the king, his doings have reached even our own royal ears. He is a saucy, rebellious varlet, yet I am fain to own a right merry soul withal. But hearken, O most gracious sovereign, said the sheriff, I sent a warrant to him with thine own royal seal attached by a right lusty knave, but he beat the messenger and stole the warrant, and he killeth thy dear and robbeth thine own liege subjects even upon the great highways. Why, how now, quoth the king wrathfully, what wouldst thou have me do? Comest thou not to me with a great array of men at arms and retainers, and yet art not able to take a single band of lusty knaves without armor on breast, in thine own county? What wouldst thou have me do? Art thou not my sheriff? Are not my laws and force in Nottinghamshire? Canst thou not take thine own course against those that break the laws, or do any injury to thee or thine? Go, get thee gone, and think well. Devise some plan of thine own, but trouble me no further. But look well to it, Master Sheriff, 
for I will have my laws obeyed by all men within my kingdom, and if thou art not able to enforce them, thou art no sheriff for me. So look well to thyself, I say, or ill may befall thee as well as all the thieving knaves in Nottinghamshire. When the flood cometh, it sweepeth away grain as well as chaff. Then the sheriff turned away with a sore and troubled heart, and sadly he rued his fine show of retainers, for he saw that the king was angry because he had so many men about him, and yet could not enforce the laws. So, as they all rode slowly back to Nottingham, the sheriff was thoughtful and full of care. Not a word did he speak to any one, and no one of his men spoke to him, but all the time he was busy devising some plan to take Robin Hood. I hope you're enjoying the stories. We sure are enjoying creating this for you. If you go and sign up on Patreon, you can listen without having to hear me talking in the intro and outro. For only $3 a month, you get the full chapters as soon as I have them edited, and you have your own personal RSS feed with no interruptions. We just added a $1 option that provides early access and more. We also have an account with buymeacoffee.com if you want to support us that way. So check out our link tree in the show notes for all of the best ways to get in touch and support the show. There's a lot more waiting for us all at the end of the road. 